as a mouse with a C and E grip supporting the baby's jaw. I'm going to give five slow sustained inflation breaths. So one inflation breath release, two inflation breaths release, three inflation breath release, four inflation breath release, five inflation breath release. And then I want to reassess my baby. So what's the baby's heart rate? So the heart rate on this baby is still slow. Okay, and is my baby making any respiratory effort at all? No, it's not making any spontaneous Did I see effort. chest rise? Yes, you did. Okay, so I've seen the chest rise. And the colour and tone of baby? It's still pale and floppy. Okay, so I have seen chest rise on this baby. So I know I've got air into the lungs, but the baby's heart rate's slow. So I need to do chest compressions on the baby. Could do 30 seconds of ventilation breath if I wanted to, um, but I'm going to move straight on to chest compressions. Um, I would need an assistant to do this. Yeah, so I can be your helper. Um, if, um, can you take the airway for me? Yeah, I would. Um, so I'm going to do three compressions to one ventilation breath, which is just a short breath. I'm going to use the encircling technique, so wrapping my hands around the baby, fingers touching at the back, thumbs a centimetre below the nipple line on the sternum, avoiding the ziffy sternum, compressing a third of the depth of the chest, allowing it to recoil in between each one fully, and, and I'm going to do 15 rounds of that, or 30 seconds of chest compression. So if you can give a breath to start, please. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Two, two, three. Four, two, three. Five, two, three. Six, two, three. Seven, two, three. Eight, two, three. Nine, two, three. Two, three. Eleven, two, three. 13, 2, 3, 14, 2, 3, 15, 2, 3. And then I'm going to reassess the baby. So um, the baby's heart rate. Okay, that's lovely. If we had done another round of chest compressions and you still hadn't seen any improvement in your baby's heart rate, is there anything that you or anyone else in your team could do? Okay, so I wouldn't make the decision as a midwife, but the um, neonatal registrar can make the decision, decision to go on and give that baby drugs. Mm -hmm. um, so this is quite rare, but if they do, um, they would give sodium bicarbonate, um, two to four mils per kilo of 4.2% solution. Um, this goes through a UVC, an umbilical venous catheter, which sits just outside um, the baby's heart. Um, the drugs go straight to the cardiac muscle. The sodium bicarbonate is to um, neutralise the acidosis in the myocardium. Um, followed by a 5mm normal saline flush and a, and a 30 second round of chest compressions. Mm -hmm. If that hadn't worked, they would consider adrenaline, which is a 1 in 10,000 strength, 0.1 mils per kilo for the first dose. Subsequent doses can be 0.3 mils per kilo. Um, and that increases contractility of the heart muscle because it's, it's an inotrope and a vasoconstrictor. Um, and if that doesn't work, they can consider dextrose, which is a 10% solution, and they can give um, 2.5 mils per kilo and um, again followed by a flush and a round of chest compressions and that is to um, replace um, glycogen stores that have been lost from the heart muscle. If none of that works, um, they might consider volume in rare cases. This is normally where the baby looks as though it might have um, been subject to an APH, an antipartum hemorrhage, and is hypervolemic, so they would consider 10 mils per kilo of either 0.9% normal saline or um, O negative blood. Okay, lovely. And if you'd completed your assessment and you found that the heart rate had increased, but the baby was 